This video will tell us the Cauchy criteria for looking at whether a sequence is convergent or not. The, now the question arises, how do we identify whether a sequence is convergent or not when we do not know the value of its limit and we do not know the value of its limit. Neither do we know anything about its monotonicity. Okay, so convergence criteria, all convergence criteria tell us that, you know, if you have a monotonic uh, sequence and uh, then, then it will be convergent, it's monotonic and bounded, then it will be convergent and you are able to find out the limit. But in case you do not know anything about the limit, you do not know anything about the monotonicity of the sequence, then the Cauchy criteria comes handy. Cauchy criteria is used in these kind of circumstances. So this is a video on Cauchy criteria and what does this criteria say? What is a Cauchy sequence? So we will be looking at the definition of, uh, sorry, definition of a Cauchy sequence. Cauchy sequence and a Cauchy sequence essentially is a sequence. A sequence denoted as of course as usual a n greater than or n greater than or equal to 1. The sequence is said to be Cauchy. Cauchy if if for any epsilon greater than zero, there exists some natural number, capital N, such that, such that for any N and M greater than or equal to this capital N, okay, this natural number N, the difference between A N and A M the distance between a n and a m is less than epsilon. Okay, so mod a n minus a m is less than epsilon. Okay, now to understand it uh, more correctly, let us try to put it this criteria into some example. Let's let's try to look at our very simple example of one by n. We know that this this. This is a convergent sequence which converges to zero. Now let's try to put Cauchy criteria. Let's try to see is this a Cauchy sequence? Okay. Is this a Cauchy sequence? So what do we need to prove for that? If I need to prove that it's a Cauchy sequence, so by definition what I need to prove, I need to prove that for every epsilon greater than zero, there exists an n, okay, such that n and m greater than or equal to n, okay, for all these n and m, mod a n minus a m is less than the given epsilon, okay, it's less than the given epsilon, so that's what we have to prove, right? Now, what do we have as a n and a n? Okay, so it can be a n or a n either way. So we can prove that a n. So what we need to do, we need to find out an n such that for n and m greater than or equal to n, say 1 upon m minus 1 upon n is less than upside right that's what we have to prove in nutshell so let us start by a given epsilon so let epsilon greater than zero be given to us okay let's epsilon greater than zero be given to us of course if epsilon is greater than zero epsilon by two will also be greater than zero right now for this epsilon by two I have to reach at, you know, uh, 1 by n, natural number 1 by n, okay. For this epsilon by 2, by Archimedean property, Archimedean,
property. Archimedean property tells me something about 1 by n. Property. I can say that there does exist a natural number n such that 1 by n lies between 0 and epsilon by 2. Okay. There will be 1 by n between 0 and epsilon by 2. Okay. So on a real line, anything between there will be a rational between 1 upon uh, n between 0 and epsilon by 2. So therefore, for any n greater than or equal to this capital N, for any n greater than or equal to this capital N, what will I have? We will have that this is great n is greater than capital n so that means 1 by n will be less than less than or equal to this capital n which is in turn less than epsilon by 2 by archimedean property okay so what do we have we have that so what do we have we have that so for epsilon greater than 0 there exists an n such that for any n and m greater than or equal to this capital N, now 1 by m minus 1 by n by inequality, triangle, triangular inequality, what do I know about this absolute value? I know that this absolute value should be less than the sum of the individual. So, which is essentially 1 by m plus 1 by n. Okay, so triangular triangle inequality. Inequality of absolute value. Okay. Of absolute value gives me this. So this is less than or equal to 1 by n plus 1 by n and 1 by n is less than epsilon by 2. This is less than epsilon by 2 so that means this is less than epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2 which equals to epsilon. So that means we have found out for any epsilon, this will hold. For any given epsilon, this will hold because epsilon was arbitrarily chosen. Arbitrary. So, therefore, we have for all epsilon greater than 0, there exists an n such that for any n m which are greater than or equal to n, the difference or the distance between 1 by m and 1 by n will be less than epsilon. And that's what we wanted to prove. So that means that the sequence, sequence 1 by n is Cauchy. Okay? It, 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 it is Cauchy by the definition of a Cauchy sequence itself. Now, there are some sort of uh, sequences which are not Cauchy, not convergent as well actually. So, let me take, give you an example of another sequence. So, let, let us take an example like, okay, probably we can take this. Okay. So, what this sequence will look like? What will this sequence actually look like? The sequence will be nothing but 0, 2, 0, 2, and so on and so forth for n greater than or equal to 1, right? Starting off with n as 1, you will have 0, then n is 2, you will have 2, so on and so forth, okay? So, to prove that this is Cauchy, to prove uh, that this is not Cauchy. This is not a Cauchy sequence. This is not Cauchy. What do I have to prove? I have to prove that, you know, not for all epsilon. Now, I just need any particular epsilon for which the definition of Cauchy does not hold. 
okay so such that for any capital n you know there exists m n greater than or equal to this n such that a m minus a n is not less than epsilon but greater than or equal to epsilon this will be the negation negation of the definition of a Cauchy sequence okay this will be the negation of the definition so can I find such an epsilon okay we have terms like 0 2 0 2 okay so, so the difference between two uh, probably can be one also right so let's take epsilon as one okay for epsilon one let's check for epsilon one we can have an n n n plus one okay both are greater than or equal to n okay n and n plus one both are greater than or equal to n and what is a n minus a n plus one what is a n minus a n plus one now the difference between any two term any two consecutive consecutive terms is actually two okay which is greater than or equal to one so this does not hold for the very first thing that we took we took epsilon as one and the definition does not hold that means it's not a cauchy sequence so that means that there exists an epsilon equals to one such that for all for any n that we will take for any n that we will take the distance will always come out to be as two okay there will exist m and n such that greater than or equal to n such that a m minus a n will be in fact greater than or equal to epsilon or greater than or equal to 1 okay so this these are the examples where you know a sequence is, was Cauchy previously now the sequence is not Cauchy and you will see in turn the sequence is not even convergent because it's an oscillating sequence you have 0 2 0 2 so we'll see that later how to you know combine the two things Cauchy sequence and convergence of sequence